Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, what have I got today? I have got parrot polishes and um, I have, most of you probably know parrot polish. I love his polish. Um, he has some beautiful neons that we're going to be looking at today and um, his thermals are fabulous. I love his thermals. They're probably my favorite. There are a lot of indie brands out there that have amazing thermals. He also has some beautiful solars and creams and multichromes. Oh my gosh, he does such a great job with multi multichromes. But he has gotten into gel. So he contacted me and asked me if I would show off his gels. And he sent me the Welcome to the Jungle collection of gels. And I have his regular polishes in the neons, the same collection. And let me tell you, those are some of my favorites for neons. They water marble amazingly. Here, I'll give you a little um, sneaky picture of the uh, Manny I did with water marble and these neons. Neons are kind of hard to marble, um, but these were beautiful and did fabulously on the water, and they were just perfect. Now, he has a purple uh, uh, baboon. I didn't pull that because that is not in here um, in these neons. And if I remember right, the purple, he had trouble with that pigment turning pink. So... We're going to ignore that one, okay? But, and I well, like it. That's terrible. These are the swatches from the regular polish. So, I know that some of you use regular polish, some use gel, and I so appreciate the carryover. So, people that don't even use gel, watch my gel polish videos in the same backwards. <laughs> the other way around um, and I very much do appreciate that you guys so we're going to take a look at these gels these that I've already painted these swatch sticks here are the regular polishes so I'm going to set those aside because that's not what we're looking at today but I wanted to compare them and see like how close they are now normally neons always always put over a white base so I went ahead and put uh, hit the bottle white undies. It's a peel off base coat because I'm going to have to swatch all of these and send pictures, take pictures of all of them. So I need quick changing, but we're going to swatch them on these swatch sticks and check them out. We have Pit Viper Yellow, Orangutan Orange, Pink Piranha, Gecko Green, and Baboon Blue. Now, he's made a few other gel polishes. He also sent me some uh, top coat. No wipe top coat. I think it's no wipe. And um, this is Paris at Night. This one I swatched, I don't know, quite a while ago, this summer. I don't know when he started doing some gels. And it is a beautiful, and that's another thing he does fabulously. Besides thermals and solars um, and creams, I mean, I don't think I've come across any of his polishes that I just was like, uh, the formula's not great. His formulas are great, and he's um, sticking his toe in gel now, and I think that's fabulous. I don't know of any other indies that do gel, so um, kudos, David, because <laughs> I can't imagine trying to do gels. It's like a whole different, I know it's polish, but... It's not the same. Um, so this one I, I use quite often. Actually, clients love this color. It is a blue-purple shift. It's so pretty. And um, there it is. I don't know if that's showing. I can't tell when I'm filming what, what angle it's getting. Beautiful. Okay. Put that one aside when that's not what we're looking at. So I went ahead and painted these swatch sticks with the regular polish. And then we're com going to compare it over white and by itself. Because I'm not sure how it's going to translate on just 
on like no white base coat because neons like I said you need to put them on white generally I've never tried them not putting them on white gel also so I'm gonna we're gonna look at it on this clear pop stick just to see so we're gonna st start with um, pit piper yeah pit viper <laughs> and it's a viper not a piper yellow and I'm gonna do it on white and on just the swatch stick, the clear swatch stick to see what it what it does. I don't know yet. Um, okay, it does look a little jelly. So I am gonna say you definitely need to put it on a white base. And I need to not get carried away with making it too thick. And I don't have his base coat, but I don't usually waste the base coat on, uh, I think he said he was out of the base coat, on swatch sticks anyway, but oh, that neon is neon. That is beautiful. It is really, really close to the regular polish neon. In fact, I kind of like that one better. All right, I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. And the boxes are adorable. Same boxes as the regular polish come in. I love the square bottles. I love the square bottles. Anyway, um, uh, they only use 10 free base with non-animal tested ingredients. So that's fabulous. Uh, I do not see HEMA in this, which is amazing because I am allergic to HEMA. But there are the ingredients. And here we're going to do a second coat. I definitely got too thick with that first coat. So much better if you put it over white. It's just brighter and the consistency is so much better. And, but like over the, the clear, you can see there was no streaking. Um, it's an even application. The formula is fabulous. It doesn't stink. I mean, it smells like other gels, but not all other gels. It's just not a strong odor at all. All right, so let's go ahead and cure that. And then we're just going to go look at the rest of these. And here we have orangutan orange. Oh, that is just so bright neon. I mean, these are even brighter than the regular polish neons, which kind of surprises me. Here we have uh, Pink Pariah. Clearly that's Piranha, not Pariah. Guy and in. here in Southern Illinois, it was a beautiful yesterday sunny 60 degrees today cold and raining and storming and yuck oh i love these colors that one makes the other pink piranha look like not as neon i am making a mess here look at that That almost makes that look coral. Baboon blue.
This one is definitely not as um, pigmented or bright in the first coat. The rest of them I felt like definitely could get by with one coat over white. But we'll see what that is after two coats. And I screwed up my first swatch there. <laughs> it was still wet. I hit it with another swatch stick. Nope, nope. Helps if you grab the right polish. And this is the Gecko Green. Oh, so bright. And in the lamp over here, these things are like really bright and glowing. But no, they are not glow in the dark. But you can see how beautiful those are. All right, I'm gonna zip through doing a second coat on all of them, and then I'm gonna top coat them. And like I said, I don't know if that's no wipe. It doesn't say no wipe, but we're gonna we're gonna see about that too. And I'm sorry, there was no sunlight, so that picture is not natural lighting. But the rest of the pictures that I'm gonna insert here are under natural light. Okay, there they all are. Uh, I don't know. I really cannot. I had to touch that up. So it, it, that's kind of the, the texture or the finish that you get without a top coat. It's almost matte, but not. That's without a uh, top coat on regular polish. That's the regular polish. So now that they've, they've all been swatched twice. Now I did put three coats on the blue. I feel like it needs three coats, but the rest of them do not. You could almost get by with one. And now that I've got them all swatched, uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference. They're very, very close. Like, so beautiful. No, you cannot water marble gel polish. Can't do it. But you can do a drag marble, and I think I'll do a quick drag marble on a on a stick here but I think they uh, are very close like almost exact I love them um, the blue is just not quite as deep in gel form but this is the regular polish and this is on white the gel uh, over white and that one is also over white and these are just by themselves without white behind them. And they definitely are brighter with white behind them. No wipe top coat. That is nice. And I almost forgot. David and his wife Sanja always, they always uh, share your posts and pictures on their social medias. It doesn't matter if you are the first time you're painting your nails or uh, you've been doing it like I have for 40. Um, they always share everything and it's so sweet of them. They're so thoughtful and so kind to everyone. There is a Facebook group also and I'll put that link and a link to their store. They don't have an actual like store. I think they do um, 
he has them on Amazon and he has them on um, Spotify, I think. I don't know. The links will be down below. But they always send a soap. And I, I do believe Sanja makes these soaps. And there's always a cute little heart-shaped soap in every package. All right. So somehow I managed to mute the rest of this video. Um, anyway, here I'm just going to do a little drag marble. I'm just going to put, you know, you can see what I'm doing. Stripes of each color across the snail. And you don't want to go too heavy, but... Um, these are, since they are kind of jelly, the neons, you can somewhat go a little heavier because they're, you know, translucent and they're going to, they're going to cure just fine. Um, I, I forgot to say earlier, I do use 60 second cures on all these gels. Um, I, I'm very impressed with these. I, I really think David does an awesome job considering, you know, he's just starting out doing gels and um, I appreciate it and they would too if you would support them and um, they are an independent family owned business so um, yeah if you're looking for any kind of polish solar or um, gel regular polish thermals multi-chromes hollows you name it he's got tons of it and um, I love all the formulas I, I've never had a polish from uh, Parrot Polish that I wasn't happy with. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of this She Modern Sheer Opal Glitter on here. It needs some glitter, okay? But the drag marbles are really easy to do. You can place the polish on however you want to and, you know, drag it through with a brush or a toothpick or whatever you want. Make it look like a marble. peacock feather so I will put I think I said Spotify earlier that's not what the site is what is it I can't Spotify's music doofus uh anyway I'll put the link up here in the corner and down in the description box to his Facebook to their Instagram all that stuff all the social meds okay <laughs> This polish is so bright neon. Okay, I think we're going to have a problem because I just let Penny out. She will not go in the grass because it's, as you can see, nothing but water. But we got a chicken on the porch down here. And if Penny sees it, <laughs> I think we're going to have a problem. What you doing, baby? Mm, it's freezing. Okay, I'm hoping that these chickens are laying eggs but on my porch over here. Maybe I can make a little nest for them. Oh. Come on, chicky, chicky, chick, chick. Come out the door. Uh-oh. I think Penny's figuring it out. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> Do you get that chicken? Do you get that chicken off our porch? Yeah. Come on, baby.
good girl. We're going to have to put a box down there for the chickens to lay eggs in. Lotta won't care. We'll just take a few of his chickens. Come on. 